you guys, Tony could have been here. Um, a lot of things on my mind, but we're going to talk about something else. Um, congratulations to the uh, WNBA team. Uh, my team, personally, my personal favorite, uh, my personal favorite player um, in the WNBA, um, Elena Deladon. Uh, this year, this season, the regular season was her second MVP season. Um, she and the Washington Mystics won their first WMA championship. Uh, in the WMA, the finals is played on a best of five series. This went to game five, um, which is basically a game seven in other basketball. Um, uh, it was probably one of the, it didn't go down to a wire. It sort of did, but it didn't. Um, you see, there's, there's not a way to phrase this for most people to take me seriously on this. That game five, look up the highlights, look it up recently. Um, it's still news. It was one of the best basketball games I've ever seen in my life. There were so many ties, so many lead changes. At one point, one team was down nine points. At the other point, one team was down nine points. And um, it was um, just wow. I mean, I don't think I've ever wanted a certain team. Because in the, in the NBA, in men's basketball, um, I, I don't have a team. Um, I have a favorite player as all, as all of you may know, but, um, I, um, <clears throat> I've never wanted another basketball team to win so bad than that game. And I knew, I, I knew that, um, when they were down, um, when the Mystics were down, they were playing the Connecticut Sun of all teams. So that would beg the question, why was I supporting my, my home state of Connecticut? <laughs> Now, I'll tell you why. Um, they're not good enough. I'm straight up going to say that. If you compare the numbers the players have, um, let me put it this way. The Connecticut Sun have one of the most best starting five, the best five starters on the uh, in the WNBA entirely. Um, but... As a team, as a whole, the Washington Mystics have a deeper, they're deeper, they have a deeper bench. They have, um, they're able to manipulate their starting five to fit different situations. And that's what you want. Um, but um, uh, that was just a prequel to what I wanted to talk about. Sorry that it took so long, but um, uh, this video is called Why I'm Not Playing NBA 2K20. Or you know some variation of the title I haven't decided. Um, so I will give uh, 2K props on this point. I'm going to read you a quote. So NBA 2K20 has the ability to play as any WNBA team of the the WNBA currently has 12 teams across the nation, um, despite the fact that in the off season. WNBA players play abroad. A lot of people don't know this because abroad they can make up to 10 times the amount of money they make in, a, in America with the WNBA, which is crazy, which speaks volumes to how Americans treat female sports as opposed to the rest of the world. I'm just saying that's, that's not a diss on America. That's a diss. I hate to say that that's a diss on men. On the powers that be who control basketball. The basketball gods of America, at least. Um, I'm going to read you a quote here. Um, this is in reference to NBA 2K20. This is from uh, Jeff Thomas, uh, SVP of Development Visual Concepts. I assume for 2K. For NBA 2K20, at least. Uh, for years, fans have requested the ability to play as some of their favorite WNBA stars. We've been working with the WNBA and their top players to recreate a hyper-realistic version of their league with pinpoint accuracy. We're excited to roll out this new feature in NBA 2K20 
because we know how important the uh, WNBA is to the world of basketball. So, you know, um, yeah, um, you know, props to them. Yeah, sure. But, um, no, no, no disrespect to them because that's, it's a noble move. Um, but the reason I'm not playing 2K20, not only is it because the main complaints like regurgitation in the same game, uh, it's pay to win, basically, because if you have the money, the moment the game is released, you can just buy your stats to get you to like 80, 90 overall. And when you consider 99 overall is the max a player ranking can be. You see, the, I mean, the 2K games cater to a specific audience that 2K, whatever, NBA 2K games are basically the majority of what certain players out there play. That's all they do. I'm sure there's players out, out there who play 2K, NBA 2K games throughout the whole year, and that's the only game they play, which is a waste of a PlayStation, in my opinion, but hey, you know, do, do each his own. Um, so, notice I had said his there, but anyway, um, I'm just gonna say that, uh, the interesting thing is NBA Live 19, a game that I own, NBA Live 19, already had this feature, and 2K20 is a more advertised product, it's, it leads to competition. Um, NBA Live, as far as I know, has barely any advertising, poor marketing, and it's just, um, let, 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 let me pull up something here, let me pull up something. So I read a quote from 2K, and I'm going to read this one now. Um, let's see where it is. Oh, um, there's, there's not even a quote, which is ridiculous, but, um, in NBA Live 19, you're able to create a player who is female. Who you can face scan. So imagine this thing right here on a female body. I, I know, I know it's very, um, it's very intriguing, I understand. But, um, you know, I guess that's my video. There's other stuff that I would like to talk about regarding other issues, but I haven't calmed down yet. It's, it's a process. Like the 76ers, it's a process. Trust the process. Alright, talk to you guys later.